Ingredients in cosmetics, surprisingly, are not regulated by law. In fact, believe it or not, there are no safety requirements and they do not have to report to anyone. In fact, because of major gaps in public health laws, cosmetic companies are allowed to use almost any ingredients, even proven toxins like lead, mercury, and shocking ingredients like placenta. Yuck! In fact, hundreds and hundreds of pounds of substances that are recognized as toxic by environmental law are added to cosmetics. If you were to dump just 10 pounds of these chemicals into the environment, you would have to get permission, but not if you were going to make a foundation with it. A great example is lead, which has been found in lipsticks and has been proven to accumulate in the body. Have you ever wondered why you have to keep applying the lipstick? It is because you are ingesting it. Common chemicals in cosmetics include oxybenzone, nitrosamines, acrylamide, which is rapidly absorbed through the skin and is considered a carcinogen, 1,4-dioxane, ethylene oxide, and phthalates, which have been linked to birth defects. A chemical common in petroleum jelly or Vaseline called PAH, or polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, are found in one of every 14 products on the market. 15% of all lipsticks and 40% of baby oils and lotion have been found to contain this product. An interesting fact is that PAH is regulated in food but not in personal care products. When chemicals are applied to the skin, they absorb into the bloodstream and enter the body. So why is there caution when eating them but, but not applying them? This chemical is already banned in Europe in cosmetics. It has been linked to, linked to breast cancer. Even worse, with a lack of disclosure about ingredients in cosmetics, there is no real way to know if it has even been refined in your product. The scary fact is there is no requirement to disclose what is in your makeup. Have you seen the ingredients of your makeup? Or is there even a list there? More than likely, there isn't. How can you protect yourself if you don't know what is in your products? You have to buy products from companies that disclose what is in them and make sure that the list that they provide is safe.